Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the burning question you're all debating and asking yourself, should I go to uni? Now for those of you that don't know, I go to the University of Greenwich and I'm currently doing events management, so anything that I say is obviously going to be from my personal experience, everyone's journey and everyone's lectures and subjects or whatever are different, so take it with a pinch of salt but hopefully you'll learn something. So the first thing I would say is, is it a practical subject? Is it tourism? Is it events management? Is it, I don't know, PE or sports or whatever? Because if it is, the likelihood is that the majority of people in your, what do you call it? In the like employment pool, do not go to university. Um, and having gone to university doing events management, I would say you don't need to. <laughs> Um, events management is a practical subject, I'm sure you would learn a lot on the job as much as you would in a lecture room, um, you pick it up as you go, it's just like a skill that you learn, um, so I wouldn't say that having the theory side of it, having lectures and assignments and essays and exams in events management is the only way to go about it. Um, so yeah, if it's a practical, if it's a practical subject, maybe not so much, but if it's I don't know, being a doctor or a lawyer, yes, you should probably go to uni. Having said that, even though I have just said I would not have gone to university to do events management if I got the choice again, I would still go to university. I would choose events management because it's what I'm passionate about, it's what I love, it's what I want to do. But to have this university experience, to be renting a house in London when I'm 20, to have met the people I've met, to be doing a long distance relationship, I would have definitely gone to university again, they're all experiences that I greatly value, I've definitely learned from all of them and university is just a great place to be and to grow, so yes I would go to university again. My next tip for those of you that don't know would be to talk to someone, talk to someone in the first year of someone who's already doing your course. I personally spoke to two people, my neighbour did events management at university and she really enjoyed it and my friend's sister did events management in a London university and she really enjoyed it um, and I spoke to them about what universities they thought would be good. One of them obviously went to the university in London which I just said and one of them went to um, a university in my hometown and she had said if she had had the chance she would have loved to have gone to a London university so that's what I did. If you don't know someone specifically in the first year of the subject you want to do, speak to someone who's just in the first year of uni. They'll be able to give you um, advice about the whole university experience like I'm doing. Um, or they might know someone who does the subject you're interested in and be able to put you in touch with them. Then I would say speak to someone who's in an apprenticeship. Everyone forgets but there is such a thing as a pr an apprenticeship. I'm sure an events management apprenticeship would have been just as useful as a lecture. As a, I keep calling it a lecture, as a degree in events management. Um, so hear both sides of the story, speak to both kinds of people and weigh up the pros and cons of that. Then I would say speak to someone in the industry. Events management is relatively new so there aren't too many people in the industry who have done a degree and the people that are have only graduated one, two, three years ago. But maybe in your course or your subject that you're choosing there are a lot more people who have done it, who have not done it and you can kind of speak to those people and maybe if they haven't done it and they've seen people come in who have done it they might be able to give you some experience on that or they may, might have done it and be on the same level as people who haven't done it so it's the best way to learn some information about something that you haven't experienced but they have. So my experience on the question, after now that I've given you all of my advice about how to go about finding out more information I'm here to give you my advice as well of what I think about the question. I think university is great. It's a lot of money. Everyone knows that. We've established that. They only take it off of you. What take it off of you? They you only have to pay it back when you start earning twenty one, or is it moved up to twenty five thousand pounds a year now? And they take a proportion. They're not going to rip away all your money. They're taking bit, taking it bit by bit. And that really shouldn't stop you from going to university because. All of us doing it now are going to have the same loans that you will have and I promise you we're not all going to be homeless. There is also the opportunity to just go, see if you get accepted, apply, if you get accepted maybe do first year, try it out and if you don't like it you can always drop out. Sure it's an investment that you're not going to reap rewards from, you've just put in nine grand and that's it, that's all it's ever going to be. 
but you've learned that experience, you've had the freshers experience if that's the main reason you want to go to uni, which if it is I'm saying you probably shouldn't go to uni, <laughs> but go to first year you can always drop out, that is always an option. And don't feel disheartened or disappointed if you do end up dropping out. University is not for everyone. It is promised to be certain things which it's not and at the same time you don't get told the whole story which is why I'm here to tell you most of the story. But dropping out is definitely an option for those of you who want to try it, test the waters and maybe don't end up liking it. It could obviously go the other way, you could test the waters, love it and dive right in and have three years, do your masters, who knows. But just for those of you who are a bit more cautious of the decision, that is obviously an option for you. So in my personal experience, I would say definitely go to uni. You meet loads more people, you move to an area you don't know, you introduce your pe yourself to people you don't know, which to me was terrifying. You obviously get new experiences as you go out and explore a new area, you might get a new job, new opportunities that you wouldn't have got otherwise. Even if I don't end up using my degree, I mean I don't know why I wouldn't, but if I end up, it ends up being mute and that I end up doing something else, I would have still have worked at the O2, I still would have done amazing work experience, I still would have met amazing people and I still would have lived in London. So it's kind of just weighing up the pros and the cons. I would say make a pros list, make a cons list and then make a list of pros and cons if your university doesn't end up working out, if your degree is a waste of time, if you don't get the results you want just so that you get both sides of the coin, you know what you're signing up for. I would say university is a great place to grow. I've grown up so much, which I know I've already said, but I honestly don't know what I would be like if I was still at my hometown, obviously having a nine to five job, still probably living with my mum, letting her cook for me and clean for me like it was back when I lived at home, whereas now I do that all myself. I know about how to rent a house, I know about bills, I know how to switch my gas and all of those things. I know a lot of stuff that I wouldn't thought that I would need to know at this age, so university is a great learning curve. I hope that has answered some of your questions or helped you sway from one side to the other or vice versa. It's a really hard topic and I'm obviously not going to be, answer be able to answer the question for you, you're going to have to make that decision by yourself, but if, that has, if this has helped just that tiny bit I would be so so happy. So if you have enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up and leave any more comments for those of you who already go to university or those of you who are definitely going to university who have any ideas of what the answer to this question should be put it down below for other viewers. I make videos every Tuesday so please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye!